Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Torn, and today I'm going to be reacting to IU Blooming. So let's go. Okay, this is a good vibe. I've heard like a snippet of this from the killing voice thing that she did. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> She looks so cute. Aww. Oh. Her roots are really bad, though. Why didn't they touch that up before the MV? Come on. <laughs> Oh, I love that outfit. Oh. I absolutely love that. She looks like a cute little bumblebee. <laughs> That's how I dance in my room when I'm listening to IU. Oh my gosh, this has got such young energy. Do you know what? It feels like a love song. But like young love. <laughs> what is that outfit? It's so old fashioned. She looks like that meme of the like person with the witch doctor mask, like walking with the carrier bags through the water. Ah. Oh, the background vocals are so nice. You have to like listen out for them. Ah! Oh, she's waiting for like the next thing to be sent from her love. Oh, I love muted stuff like this, but they strip it back. Oh, the outfit. Oh, my God. Bro, she can wear literally anything. That looked like hanbok. Oh, it's not hanbok. It's just a really cute dress. Uh, this feels really summery. That song feels like a summer vibe. I love that. Oh, I can't lie. This outfit, this yellow outfit is just, uh, absolutely live for this outfit. I think that she looks stunning in it. You know, it's actually giving Heathers. I don't know if you've seen or heard about the musical Heathers, but it's giving like, I think it's Heather... McNamara that wears like the yellow. It really, really reminds me of Heather's. It's so cute. You know what I really like actually about the artistry of her works is it's not only just about the MVs that I really appreciate. The styling throughout all of her MVs is so on point. You know what I really love as well? She's not afraid to just wear something that's completely ridiculous. When you think of an artist like IU, you might potentially assume that she would be really into her looks to make sure that she looks really attractive in everything that she wears. But I really think that she just doesn't care. I mean, granted, she looks great in everything that she wears. But I think that you could literally dress her up 
in like an ugly sea monster costume and she'd be like yes this is what we're wearing it goes with the theme we are doing it like i feel like genuinely as long as the artistry of what she is creating is good she will literally do or put herself in a situation like that's really outside of her comfort zone to achieve the goal that she's trying to achieve which i think is so incredible that an artist like iu actually exists and does things like this in terms of the song it's really confusing to me it almost feels a bit oxymoronic with the sense that it's blooming but the connotations of blue is usually like sad and depressive so i don't know if it's kind of like that feeling of being in love but like it's like ups and downs maybe it's the isolation of being alone that makes you feel a bit sad waiting for their next message waiting for the next time that you actually get to see each other again what i really like as well is she really explores different visuals through colors i'm almost certain that everybody has already noticed this especially like i use fans already but i absolutely love that she takes a, just a color and she's like right i'm gonna center this whole mv or this whole song around a color and it's so crazy because it's so simplistic but she uses such intricacies when she's writing her songs that's why it works Honestly, anybody could watch her music, listen to her songs, and they'll instantly feel a connection. But when you really pay attention to what's being said, you can really understand all of the different colors and flavors that she's included throughout. This song feels very, very metaphoric for me. I can't lie as well. Like, it almost feels like she's talking about, like, messaging. Because there's a lyric throughout where she says something like, we make roses with our thumbs. And to me that almost sounds like messaging and then at some point she says something about being like i'm blue and you're gray or something like that and i was thinking could that be like messaging because when you message on an iphone you're blue but they're like no i think they're green let me check no on facebook messenger you're blue and they're white slash gray right let me have a quick look yeah, when you message somebody on Facebook Messenger, you're blue and they're grey. Is that it? I think I just cracked it, you know? It almost, yeah, it feels like she's messaging this person and she's feeling blue. She's feeling like herself in the messages. I don't know. I feel like that's a stretch. Is that a stretch? Please let me know what you guys think because I think that I've just completely gone off in a weird direction. I don't actually know if that's correct. But anyways, guys, let me know what you thought of this video. If you did like my reaction, please consider giving me a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a great week, guys. Bye!